How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at gearboxes and how you can efficiently use them and get the most performance and um, fuel, less con fuel consumption out of your engines, things like that and uh, top speed or maybe a car or something so uh, yeah, let's uh, get right into it Okay, so I've made a little engine example, just using a regular large engine, everything uh, piped up how it would normally be. So that's pretty cool. And I have a couple gearboxes here, and they're different uh, in their ratio and in these arrows. And if you didn't know what the arrows were before, and you're a bit confused, then I'll uh, tell you right now. So if the arrows are coming from your engine or your power, whatever, and going into uh, whatever's being powered. In this case, we have a generator, and that's how we're going to be measuring um, all these gearboxes today. Uh, and the arrows are going towards the generator in this case. That means that the engine, uh, whatever it's giving out, is going to be increase the torque but it's going to lower the amount of turns that the engine is making a second. So you're going to get a lot more power out, but it's not going to be as fast. And this is good if, say, you're, how, you have a truck or something, or a big ship, and the engines aren't quite powerful to move it um, at the current, like from a stop. So you want to gear it up, or you just have your engine struggling, then using arrows going towards the propeller or something will uh, speed it up and the ratio uh, you can actually change right now I have it set to if it's off it's one to one so nothing happens it's just straight from the engine and if I turn it on it will be three to two um, ratio for what I just explained so let's uh, let's give that a little test right now We'll get to 20 RPS, which is what it's default to. And you'll see we're getting 215 torque and 20 RPS out of this engine right now. And in our generator, about 450 uh, output. Now if I turn this on and we get a 3 to 2 ratio. See, this is the same because it hasn't gone into the gearbox yet. But if we measure the output... We now have 13 RPS from our original 20 and 264 torque, so a lot more um, from our 177 from the engine straight there. But because our turns are lower, we're getting less out of the generator, but the engine is happy, it's fine. It's not doing uh, pretty much any work to get those turns. Um, so, but that is for this generator example I wouldn't recommend doing this because as you can see 20 RPS gear switch isn't on and we're getting basically double and we're probably using the same amount of fuel so this is where you might want to use the reversed arrows this is actually going to do the opposite to what this is where the engine is going to speed up but it's going to lose some of its torque and right now I have this set to 6 to 5 and we're getting 20 RPS, 215 so I turn this on same thing there but now we're getting 23 RPS our engine is still sitting at 20 but we're getting 23 out of it but less torque about 40 less torque but you can see now our, our generator is pumping out about 640 which is considerably more than the 400 there and our engine is, is handling this, it's kind of dipping to 19 so experiment with the ratios, the higher the ratio um, the more kind of the effect is going to have you can also set these to reverse one to one so it's just one to one but the opposite um, coming out from the engine so uh, yeah my engine just died and ran out of fuel 
but that's uh, going to be gearboxes in their kind of basic form. Um, there are many ratios that you can have and I would experiment with these in a kind of example like this. Um, maybe if you're building a car or something you would want to look at kind of what um, power you kind of have, like what size engine and how much speed you want to get out of it. If you want a lot of power I recommend going for a high ratio of these, if you want a lot of speed I'd recommend starting with these and then maybe using a gear shift mechanism to get up to a high speed. And it's all just uh, use these torque meters and kind of experiment with your engine. And uh, you should get a pretty efficient engine at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, I wish you luck with that. So if you, didn't, if you didn't know what gearboxes were before and you do, uh, leave a like and subscribe. I've got some more tutorials coming out. And of course, leave your suggestions down below. Hope you enjoyed and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time.